what's up what's up what's up my fellow creators welcome guys i hope you're having a phenomenally blessed day thank you for joining me for a moment in topics with becky please like this video share this video and subscribe to my channel down below so you always know when the next video does go live check out my channel for more content and today we're going to go down the rabbit hole with why i don't do love predictions <sighs> she's the only tarot reader that doesn't do them why channeler reader it doesn't matter i'm not here to predict your next love i said in so many videos i was going to make this video and finally i decided i need to make it because i've been talking about it for a while and so the reason i don't do love predictions is because as well with any future prediction anything that you do in this now moment could potentially change that it could change it I could tell you that you're going to find your true love tomorrow and that you're going to be happy for the rest of your life. And instead of you continuing down the journey and taking care of yourself, you're just going to stop altogether and wait for them to come in. And then that just kind of puts a block on it. Do you see? This is why I don't do love predictions, because every moment of every second of every day, we make choices and we make decisions and it can alter the path. We're running on multiple paths that interti intertwine and connect. And yes, you want to be on the ultimate path, but in order to get there, it comes down to self, right? Love is about self. Love is not about another person. Love has always been about self. And people do not see that because everybody has been brought up in a society where we see movies, we see television shows, we see people who are together with someone and they think that that is what's winning. You know, I saw this quote and I just laughed because I was like, oh Lord, that is so true. You know, and vice versa for men and women, right? There's a woman who she's happy and she thinks she's winning because she got the guy when really it was the one who got away who's winning. You know, I think about it. I was in love with my ex, right? All of my exes, of course I was, right? You wouldn't be with them. You love people all different kinds of ways. And the way I see it, is that whoever was next after me, I felt bad because I knew what they were going to experience. I knew what could potentially happen. I knew what they could potentially be going through. And so for me, it felt like I was the one that was winning. But who knows? Maybe he changed for them. I don't know that. But I knew, I knew, rather than having that title of marriage or partnership or relationship, I didn't want to be miserable anymore. I was. I was absolutely and utterly miserable. Is that winning? Just so that I could hold the title. No. And unfortunately, there's so many people who are living trauma over and over again, right? And, and I forgot the name of it. And I'm so glad that it came up this morning, but trauma response. Everybody's living from a state of trauma response. You know, when they were growing up, their parents got divorced and they said, oh, I'm never going to divorce anybody in my life. And so, and then they end up marrying somebody that's just like their mom or their dad. And then they get a divorce and they feel so terrible or a father or mother that's a beater or an abuser or a cheater or something like that. And what ends up happening is we live that over again because it imprints on our soul and it takes a piece of us away from ourselves because ourselves are trying to save ourself. How many times can we say ourself? So I focus my channel on you as a person because when I first started this journey I learned about twin flames and the way I learned about twin flames is completely ridiculous completely absurd it's not like I just stumbled upon a video and was told what they were I had a dream and I was with my ex at the time and I will never forget this dream because to this day I can still 
feel, hear, taste, and smell everything that was going on in that dream. And an old friend of mine who I thought it was, okay, and that's, I feel like sometimes there's people who are cast into our lives so that they can help us recover from things that we don't want to overcome. Or it's our ego showing us someone that they know will respond to. Again, spirit and ego are meant to work together. They're supposed to intertwine with one another so that we can live this life. Okay, that's the way it is. And so spirit will oftentimes use ego in order to get what it needs. Okay, and, and ego has a tendency to overbear spirit. And so it's funny when spirit comes in and spirit's like, oh, hey, you know, like I need you to do this. And he goes like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. So back to my story. I had this dream and I was kissed by a friend of mine. Like, I mean, like, kissed. Like, I had never been kissed before. I was like, holy moly. It was so real. Like, when I dream, I do some lucid dreaming, but mostly when I dream, it's so real to me. It's kind of, when I wake up, I'm not sure where I am because I feel like I've traveled light years away. It's very interesting the way I dream. And I'm sure there are many people who dream like this. And I'm sure there are people who have lucid dreams and they're aware that they're dreaming and they can control their dreams. I've just never really truly been one of those people. I get answers in my dreams. And so off topic, my little rant. Anyways, when I, it, it, it was so real, that's what woke me up, okay? And I remember waking up, it was the dead of night. And I had to look because I was like, whoa, where, where am I? Like, I did not remember where I was. I didn't remember who I was. I didn't remember anything. And I looked down and I saw my ex and I was like, oh, uh, I had to get out of bed and go to the bathroom and wash my face. Okay. The next day, I've never even heard of this term in my life. Suddenly my phone it popped up on my phone. It was like twin flame. And I was like, what is a twin flame? Like, what is this? And that was how I learned. It was, it would coincided with my dream. And I was like, and I thought at the time that my ex was my twin flame. Okay. And I'm not saying I'm a twin flame. I'm not saying I'm not a twin flame. What I'm saying is that the purpose of it ultimately is not to have the ultimate relationship with another it's to have the ultimate relationship with yourself and so my goal in these readings that I do these love readings is to help you find self-love so that you can invite in whoever it is that you want to invite in not what you want it's what you need Right. I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear. And it's not always pretty. And let me tell you guys, I do my own readings for myself and I have to record them. I have to do an audio recording so that I can listen to it. And sometimes I really get I get down and dirty with myself and it's not me. I realize it's spirit coming in and telling me what I need to hear, even if I don't want to hear it. Okay, so when I do love readings, I'm not trying to predict your next love because to me, when you go and you find readers who all they do is predict love, first you kind of have to wonder, you know, what what's their real intention behind it because there's so much money when it comes to love and sex. Okay, the two things on earth that get some of the most money, love and sex. Okay, mostly sex because I think people are ruled by sex and they don't know the difference between love and sex. They feel like they go hand in hand and really they don't. Really, they don't. Sex needs to be its own separate entity from love. Okay? And that is another topic for another time. Otherwise, I'll be here all day trying to tell you guys. <laughs> okay? But I do these readings so that you guys can finally find peace with yourself and with the things that are blocking you from love and blocking you from real love. Not that, oh, I'm going to settle because I don't think I can get better love. I'm talking about things that are blocking you from unconditional love, to bring in unconditional love, to look yourself in the mirror and to see yourself as a perfect being. Flaws and all. The flaws are perfect. Your perfections are perfect. To see the whole of your being from the eyes of the divine. And truthfully, to live here if you guys are on the twin flame journey, if you guys are trying to be on the twin flame journey, okay, I, I'm not here to say yes or no because I don't, 
I don't think anybody really understands it. Even Twin Flames, I don't think they understand it because I feel like the journey is so unique to each person. There's really no way that somebody could say, this is exactly what you have to do. This is what's going to bring it in. This is the only way for you to attract them. It's a Band-Aid. It's a Band-Aid because you're different than me and I'm different than you. The ultimate goal is to find self, to find your peace within and to come into a centered state of alignment. To be in tune with the liberation and the manifestation currents, right? That is what it means. Sometimes when people are like, oh, I've, I've had twin flames get married. I've had twin flames call in one another. It's not that hard to figure out. I don't think that it is. However, people aren't seeing it from a place of peace and honesty. They're seeing it as a way to make money. And it's like, of course, anybody can show you how to manifest a partner. But is that the partner that you're meant to be with? And again, you may think, like I said, I thought this person was my twin flame. I also thought my ex was my twin flame. And then I was shown. Then I was shown. When I finally let go of the idea and somebody came into my life that I was so confused about, I was like, what? is this like what is this connection i don't understand it like i met this person my whole life turned upside down and everything like that and finally source showed me i asked the question i didn't say is this i said who is this and then it was like coming in like this like all crazy the answers okay so oftentimes we're saying is this and we're saying show me a dolphin if this is my twin flame and then you're gonna see a dolphin because you manifested the dolphin you're not saying who it's like a yes or no question you need to ask source open-ended questions right and I know that seems hard but it's like yes and no is so black and white and source is not black and white source is gray and color and beauty and ugliness and you know peace and disruption and chaos and uh, wonderment all together. You see? Yes, that is source. All the good and the bad, right? Being yes and no is so sophomoric to what source is. So this is why I don't do love readings, because for me, love is something so much deeper and to be on the journey of self-love, it has truly opened my eyes to things. And I see people who are saying, oh, I'm in love with this person and I meet them and I'm always like questioning it. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's just I question that because I see things that aren't what I would consider love. They're always with conditions. Oh, I'm only going to show you love when you meet this certain criteria. I'm only going to show you love when you fit into this box. I'm only going to show you love when you had all these checklists and love is much much more than that love is kind and gentle and compassionate and open and and it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it really doesn't because it's something that nobody really truly knows because we live in a society that is very chaotic and so driven far from self we think we're so separate and we're all one and that's why the whole Twin Flame journey has created a mass, a mass following because people are obsessed with finding a partner because they feel empty inside. You're not. You're not incomplete. And there's never going to be a person out there that's going to one day make you complete. You make you complete. Okay? And so this is why if you ever catch my love readings, understand that my love readings are going to focus on you and your blocks. Most of my re readings really focus on you and your blocks. It's not, you know, even career. It's like everything that we do in life, because you can't say the future's for certain. We don't even know if we're going to take our next breath. So if I spend time trying to predict the future, it might not happen that way. And there are plenty enough readers who do. My main goal is to help you find peace with you. Okay? 
But this is what I have for you guys. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, set that notification bell down below so you always know when the next video does go live. And with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. But until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow creators, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter, and love. Until we see each other again. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.